All right, guys, wanted to give a quick update on a metric known as weighted sentiment to look at some of the most bullish and bearish arguments uh, representing this metric right now. Checking out the altcoin landscape, specifically looking at the top 300 market cap assets or so. Uh, we'll look at a few of the most negative assets out there according to uh, users' perceptions of these altcoins, and then a few of the most positive perceptions out there according to the crowd and what they're talking about. Of course, we scrape our social data from Twitter, Reddit, Telegram, and 4chan. And the way <coughs> weighted sentiment is calculated is we take the overall amount of social volume and multiply that by the ratio between positive commentary and negative commentary according to our algorithm that looks at the uh, basically the rating between a positive versus negative comment something positive would be like this asset is going to the moon something negative would be like I knew this asset was a scam it's gonna go to zero very soon so we blend all of those comments together to give us an idea of what's considered a positive comment or a negative comment and it works as such. So to start off, I thought I would take a look at some of the most negative comments uh, or negative assets according to traders' perceptions. And essentially, this would be, these three assets that we're looking at are considered good if you're a bull in the market right now because of the fact that people are so negative toward them right now. Uh, I chose these three because they're three of the most negative, regardless of their price performance. Um, a few of them have been struggling. A few are kind of just part of the altcoin pack, but for whatever reason, they're either not being talked about too much, which can weigh it down toward the negative range, or people are really, you know, causing a lot of FUD, fear, uncertainty, and doubt toward these assets. Regardless, the three that I chose today graphed over the price of Bitcoin are Lido Dow here in red, Fetch AI here in yellow, and Power here in blue. The three of them, as you can see, uh, graphed week by week are all in the negative range. These numbers here, negative 0.3 for Fetch and negative 0.6 for Lido Dow, these are basically just standard deviations. So zero is like the normal weighted sentiment historically for that respective asset. And when it's lower, that means to a degree based on standard deviation, this is how much more negative or how much more positive if it's a positive number. That being said, anything below negative 0.25 is considered pretty negative. And on the positive end, anything over you know 1.0 is considered pretty positive. So all three of these are below that 0.25 level. Um, Lido in particular is seeing a lot of negativity right now. So that would add to the argument that Lido Dow could be one of the better buys at the moment. Of course, you would want to look at other metrics uh, besides just weighted sentiment when factoring in whether to buy something like Lido or Fetch AI or Power at this time. But the point stands if you're taking it just in a vacuum, look for these types of assets and they can be very handy. Uh, when it comes to kind of finding those bottoms. Uh, of course, a lot of this is dependent on whether Bitcoin's price here, which has been ranging between 40K to 44K over the last couple of weeks, stays in that stable range. If Bitcoin suddenly crashes and you're wondering why Lido Dow didn't just suddenly take off, well, Lido, like every other altcoin in crypto, is still reliant on Bitcoin staying afloat. Bitcoin, of course, is the most popular and common trading pair out there uh, on exchanges. So if it tanks, then other assets are going to tank with it. That's just how it goes. So take this what you for what you will, and let's move over to some of the positive uh, commentary assets out there. These are the ones that are actually seeing quite a bit of FOMO right now. And I'm not surprised to see Render up there. It's really been head and shoulders above other altcoins. Uh, anytime Bitcoin kind of shows a rebound, render's been taking off. Uh, that doesn't mean it's going to continue, especially when there's so much positive commentary right now toward render. You can see over the past two weeks, especially since late January, 
There's a standard deviation of just below one at 0.984 just this week. That's quite high. Uh, like I said, if it gets over 1.0, then you're really starting to look into an extreme sentiment. Um, a lesser known asset that's actually trending right now, and I'll show the trending assets in just a moment, is ABT. And ABT is actually way up at 3.15 on the standard deviation scale for weighted sentiment right now. So it's having an overwhelming amount of social volume along with a lot of positive commentary uh, because the, the asset is pumping at the moment. Uh, also included here is AJIX, which for the first time, if I highlight this, it's really the first time we've seen it in the positive range since uh, looks like the, the last week of November. So this is pretty historic for that asset and it might be something worth looking into. So these three being so positive on the weighted sentiment scale means there is a higher probability of a correction because there's so much discussion related to them. Now weighted sentiment works best if, if the price is going up and then you see a lot of weighted sentiment, a, a, a high range of weighted sentiment, that clearly indicates there's uh, a lot of discussion related to the asset due to its price pumping. If the price is just kind of fluctuating and flat, then this isn't going to be as effective. Same goes on the negative end. If the price is plummeting and then you say, see a lot of negative weighted, weighted sentiment metrics along with it, that's a good indicator that we're close to a bottom rather than just one that's flat and suddenly you see weighted sentiment going really low, maybe just because no one's talking about it. That's not as strong of a signal. So that's a good way to kind of gauge what I think is one of sentiment's best metrics out there and use it to your advantage. Now, last but not least, as promised, I wanna look at the trending tokens really quick. And you can see ABT here at number two, and its token price has obviously taken off over the past week. So that's a pretty clear signal that that positive weighted sentiment here is uh, actually in blue, excuse me, is legitimately showing that there's a lot of FOMO involved in it. And the AI summary even says it's trending because its volume has reached $42 million and its price keeps going higher and higher, almost breaking its old all-time high of $1.66. Uh, and then it goes on to some speculation to an unrelated asset known as SWFTC. So that's something worth keeping an eye on, especially because ABT is in the top three on our trending tokens list. We've talked about it before, but there's a 72% chance that a short will be successful when shorting any asset in the top three while it's pumping and having this kind of pattern. For example, BAN, yes, it's up over the past week, but this like it looks like it's more volatile and the reason it's trending is due to an ongoing AMA session. So this isn't as related to price and FNSA also isn't so much related to price. So you've got Chainlink, of course, at number four, this is related to price. So that's worth keeping an eye on. Uh, pork has been discussed at a higher degree. I just had someone ask about it after we put out a Dogecoin post earlier today. But anyways, I thought I would just wrap up by showing you some of the trending tokens after taking a look at weighted sentiment for both the most bearish assets out there at the moment and the most bullish assets out there at the moment, according to the crowd's sentiment. Hope this was helpful. Give it a like if you liked it. Let people know about sentiment. And we will talk to you next time. Thanks so much.